Hey guys, welcome back to day two of our 30 day Pilates challenge. So sorry about the week off, I was away skiing. However, I am back for daily videos, so make sure to subscribe and let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is just practice our breathing. So holding our stomach and our lower back and just making sure we are getting that nice engagement as we go back. Good, well done. Let's go on to our elbows and do some quick alternating toe taps on the floor. So making sure our knees are bent and our chest is staying up high, making sure we're not sinking down into them shoulders. And just keeping a nice steady tempo breathing. And we're just gonna slow it down. So each time we come back up to that tabletop position with our legs and just still tap the toes off the floor. Good. and once you've done 10 just have a little breather and then you're going to come down onto your back pull each leg in give it a little stretch when it's at the top and then start to speed it up a little bit so we're keeping that core engaged keeping the chin tucked in squeezing our belly button into the floor So we are doing four extensions with our legs together and then four with our legs apart. And you can have a little few seconds between each eight counts. And the last time, so legs together, extend all the way down, squeeze our core and then separate the knees and do four wide leg extensions. And from there just come onto your side and we are raising the hip off the floor, we are raising the leg, bringing it forward and then back down and we're doing 10 in total. Make sure we are pushing that elbow into the floor. And then we're going into 10 hip dips. So dropping that hip to the floor squeezing our obliques to come back up and then we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other leg so 10 leg raise into the front and then down and then 10 hip dips dropping the hip all the way down the floor squeezing our glutes and core to bring ourselves back up to our neutral position
and next we are going into some ankle into knee taps so we have two low taps in two high taps so when we come up to the knees we are bringing the shoulders off the floor a little bit higher and again make sure that chin is tucked into our chest Well done. Next thing we are going to do is bring our legs into a sort of frog position and go in again into them toe taps. So we are really burning our core for this one. And again, make sure the knees don't come any higher than the hips. So we are constantly engaging all of our ab region. And because these are quite quick tempo, we're going to do 20 in total. Well done, bring your legs in front, have a few seconds to recover, extend them all the way up and then we are dropping each leg and then bringing it up to tabletop and then extending all the way up. So we are doing 10, dropping the right leg first and then once you've done 10, starting with the right leg, we're going to have a little quick breather and then do the exact same thing starting with the left leg dropping to the floor first good 10 of this leg and then you can have a rest Have a nice deep breath before we go into the next exercise. If at all you do need to pause the video to have a bit more rest, that is totally fine. And then just jump straight back into it. So the next one, we are bringing our elbow to our opposite knee, making sure we extend that leg a little bit at the bottom so that we get a little bit more stretch. And once you've done 20 on that leg, you're going to do 20 on the other leg. So again, it's quite fast tempo, which is why we are doubling it up to 20. Well done, and however you like, you can just stretch out your core. I just like to lift my hips off the floor and push my weight into my hands. However, you can do some side to side rocks like this or whatever you want. And that is going to be the end of this workout. I really hope you enjoyed. If you would like to subscribe, click here. And I will see you again tomorrow for day three of the 30 day challenge.